Hello everyone, my name is Rasonis and welcome to Ark Survival Evolved Update Patch 256. The latest update, yeah yeah, it came to the game and it came with the Ikyarnis you see on my shoulder. <laughs> Isn't it looking derpy? Damn, you can get a nice head skin, I'm gonna tell you all about it later. So let's get started with this video, woohoo! A huge shout out to Champion Arc. On Champion Arc you will get your own dashboard and you can get your own tribe page where you can check out the tribe log so you know what happened when you were offline. You can get instant alerts when a tripwire is activated and you can receive an email notification when an egg is hatching. For more information go to championarc.com slash fursona, scroll all the way down, claim your starter pack and get started today. Alright, let's get started with the derpy one on my shoulder. Damn, <laughs> they look so funny. Check it out. Oh man, they, 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 they also look a little bit evil, isn't it? Especially the black one with the red eyes. Oh, you, you laid an egg. Good for you, nice job. So, uh, yeah, these two are, uh, these creatures, the Ichthyornis, they can uh, hunt for fish. And they can hunt for themselves and they can hunt for you. So, as you can see here, this one on the left, it says no hunting. This one says hunt. And you can also put it to... Oh, now I put it to hunt, and you can put it to hunt and retrieve. And what will that do? Well, I have one on my shoulder, and let me put you down, sir. Oh, girl, what are you? Girl. And you're on hunt. So, let me pick you up again. And what they say is, do we have any fish here? Uh, no, I, I need some fish. Well, I spawned some fish in, as you can see here. And damn, <laughs> it just stays on my shoulder. Oh my god, this is <laughs> this is a little bit insane. Okay, so uh, the shoulder pad stays on your shoulder. What you need to do now is uh, grab a rival or whatever, so you get a crosshair. And it is getting foggy, I hate fog. So we have a fish over there. And what you do is aim at it. Did you just poop an egg out? Damn it. So you aim at the fish, double F. It will hunt and it eats its own prey. So that is what it will do when it is hunting. Oh, you ke keep on continue hunting. Okay, uh, le let me grab the other one then. Hunt and retrieve, you come with me. So we need to aim at fish. Uh, where is the fish? Here is one, no. Here is one. And double click. So. Now it has the fish, but it doesn't eat it. So it should come to me now. Yeah, and the fish has a golden glow around it. Check it out. Thank you. And when you harvest the fish with a glow on it, you will have a chance to get raw prime fish meat instead of normal raw fish meat that you get if you harvest it for yourself without a glow. And when you call the hunter back, you see in the inventory, you will only find raw fish meat and not raw prime fish meat. And you can do the same trick with dodos as you can see here. So aim at the dodo, double click on the dismount shoulder pad and you can harvest raw prime meat from dodos. There is a chance of that. And you can do the same for compies. So it grabs it, it kills it, it brings it to you and compies have a chance to give raw prime meat now. Isn't it cool? And the attack damage of a level 1 is 6. You can see it again. And what kind of stats do they have at level 1? These are the stats. 100 health, 150 stamina, oxygen, food, a nice amount of melee and the movement speed. And what the hell? You're a flyer as well and we can level up movement speed on you? Well... <laughs> Oh damn, that is not fair, because all the flies are nerfed. At least the flies that we can ride. That we can use to fly. We can't use, uh, we can't level up movement speed anymore on them. I, I really don't like that. Some people like it, I don't like it. And they, they also got a stamina nerf. And yeah, too bad for that. That's too bad. I, I hope I can change that on my own servers, because I want to have speed on them. I, I want to fly faster from one side of the map to the other side of the map. For PvP it is different, I think, but for PvE, well, I just want to be fast. <laughs> and also, how do you get Wyvern eggs now? Well, I, I don't know, I don't know, since you can't speed them up, the flies, yeah, I don't know how to get Wyvern eggs. That will be really difficult, I guess. 
And how to tame this Ictiornis? Well, you have to knock it out. So knock it out, and once you have it knocked out, give it Pegomastic Skibble if you have that. And otherwise use raw prime fish meat or cooked prime fish meat. And if you don't have that, well, then just use raw fish meat or cooked fish meat. And once you have it tamed, you have a derpy shoulder pad like I have. <laughs> so let's go to the next creature. It's this one. It's the Iguanodon. Doesn't it look cool? What? Oh, I still have one on my shoulder. You go away. I don't want to have poop in my face. Damn you. I'm gonna put you down. <laughs> so, uh, you had Iguanodon. Check it out. Hello, good sir. You look nice. Yes. So, what can this one do? Well, it can walk around. And when you right click, it, go, it goes walking on two feet. Right click again. And it is on four legs again. So let's see. Sprinting on four. And sprinting on two. It seems to be that on four legs it is faster. Two legs. Four legs. Yeah, four legs is faster. Okay, cool. And what kind of attacks does this one have? Well, let's see. Left mouse click. What? <laughs> what is this? Thumbs up? You stab him with the thumbs? That looks funny. And when, when you're on uh, four feet... Oh, you just go uh, to stand on two feet. Okay. Uh, what special attacks do we have more? Pressing X. Nothing. Pressing C. Okay, that's your raw. Okay, let's see. What, what can you gather? Can you gather the bushes? Left mouse click. Yes, thumbs up for the bushes. And trees. Yeah, you harvest uh, more tats than wood. Okay. That is nice. And let's see what kind of damage a level 1 Iguanodon can do versus a Parasaurus. As you can see, it only does 20 damage. And how to tame the friendly Iguanodon? Well, you have to trank it down. So knock it out. And the best thing that you can give is Micro Raptor Egg Kibble. And otherwise use vegetables or medio berries or other berries. Or you can use sweet vegetable cake. And another thing that you can do with Iguanodon is jumping. <laughs> but besides jumping, you can turn berries into seeds. So you need to go to this menu. And then you need to click on seed fruit in inventory. And in this inventory you can see all the berries that I have. So let's do it. Seed fruit in inventory. And check it out. What will happen? <gasps> It turned everything into seeds. Oh, that was fast. Damn. <laughs> so if you need seeds, that's the way to do it. Okay, so that's all about the Iguanodon. Okay, let's go on to the Egress. The horse. Check it out. A lovely horse. I already tamed it in... Oh, you don't need to follow me. Stay there. I already tamed it in my episode of the center map. And check it out. We also have a unicorn. What the hell? For some is a unicorn? Yes, a unicorn. Yes, you're gorgeous. Well, uh, what it is with the unicorn, there is only one on the map. Oh, not scissors. There's only one unicorn on the map. And when it dies, well, th then there will be a new one spawned in. But only one. And let's check the stats of a level 1 Equus. At least, uh, I think you call it Equus, the horse. Level 1. It has 240 health, 560 stamina. The oxygen, food 1500, weight 350, melee, it is all the same basic stats as the others, and 120 movement speed. And let's check the unicorn. Let's see. 240, it is, oh, it is all the same. It's all the same. And how do you tame those? Well, it is not hard, but it can be tricky. What you need to do is put the food in your last item slot. And then you need to get close, get behind it. You need to press E. And then you need to go ride it. And press E again. And now it is going to walk. This is all doing it for itself. I can't do anything. On the left bottom of the screen you see the effectiveness. It is 100%. And the taming. How much it is tamed. And now it is getting stuck. That is cool. If I jump off now. I'm gonna jump on again. I'm gonna lose taming effectiveness. As you can see now. I only have 80% instead of 100%.
And once you ride it, well, just keep an eye out on the left bottom of the screen. Once you see this, feed it again and you will continue on taming it. And once you have done enough, then it is yours. How nice is that? And what are the things that you couldn't do with this one? Well, if you press C, it will do this. <laughs> a nice attack. You can jump with it. Left click is a bite attack. And with this attack you can harvest berries. And with the right mouse click you can kick with your back feet. This is useful for knocking out creatures and knocking out humans. Uh, and here you can see the base damage of an Equus versus this Parasaur. It is 7. So let's turn around. And what can you do? 9. So with your back kick you do a little bit more. Okay, here I have a horsey level 1. I haven't leveled it up. All the basic stats. And here you see level 1. So let's try it out on this turtle. So level 1 turtle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 hits and it is knocked out. So let's try it out with higher melee. So again I spawned in a level 1 turtle. As you can see here. And this was my level, uh, also a level 1. But I put everything in melee. Right mouse click, one hit, two hits, three hits, four hits. So that other one was five hits and this was four hits. So it is a, yeah, it does a little bit more torpor indeed if you have higher melee. And as you can see, I can craft stuff. How is that possible? Well, with this saddle of the Equus, you can craft stuff now. You can craft a lasso. And you can use it as a mortar and pestle, as you can see here. Isn't it cool? And the lasso you can use only on your Equus. You can't use it when you're walking around. So when you're on your Equus, you can use it on humans, as you can see here. They can't escape, so it works the same as a grappling hook. And here you can see me catching my own tappy. So it works on creatures as well, as long as they are not too big. If they are too big, well, it just simply doesn't work. And like the grappling hook, you can tune one lasso each time you use it. Well, how do you tame the unicorn? Well, you tame it the same way as you tame the equus. So you need to get behind it, feed it, ride it, feed it again. So just ride it and yeah, just feed it when it wants to have food and it can be yours. And what will it do? Well, it can all do the same things as the normal one. So nothing special here. <coughs> So no special attacks or anything, just it looks special, it looks awesome. So that was it about the Equus and the Unicorn. And now I want to show you something about a new haircut that you can get. You can get a ponytail and you can get mutton chops. <laughs> you can be your own Wolverine, damn. <laughs> looks insane, nice. So I bet in the future they will add even more and more looks. Now it is time to check out the lead Signies. Check it out. I have two of them here. And why is that? Well, this one is the normal one that you can find. Why are the fish all around you? I don't know. But this one you can find in the ocean. But this one also. This is the alpha. And this is the normal one. I thought the alpha would be bigger. But check it out. I don't think it is bigger. Is it? I don't think it is bigger at all. No. To me it seems to be the same size. So, what can you do with this one? Can you tame it? No, you cannot. I can ride it because I have force tamed it, but you cannot tame it. You can scrape off meat with it. So, let's press E. And you get 50 raw prime fish meat. How cool is that? And you can do that once every 10 minutes. So, then you need to wait 10 minutes. And you get a lot of fish meat. And do you need a pick for it? Well, I don't think you need to use a pick for it. So, let's remove that one as well. And let's see, can we do it again here? Yes, we can do it again. You can also do it on the Alpha. And if you kill the Alpha Lichiktish, you can get something special. Well, it is friendly. Do you see? It doesn't do anything to me. Until I attack it. So let's attack it and let's see what it will do. I think it will... No, don't attack that one. Well, <laughs> it is getting angry. But let's kill it. Come on. Okay, I just killed it. I didn't receive anything here. But let's see what it does in the inventory. <gasps> it's the captain's head. This is the thing that you can get from it. And then you can look like me. 
as derpy as you want. <laughs> so that is what you can get from the Alpha Lead Sickness. And what can the Lead Sickness do in the wild? Well, in the wild it can destroy rafts, because it is really angry towards rafts. Well, here you can see my raft with sunken metal foundations. As you can see, I can damage the metal foundations with my tech rifle. But if you check the health of the raft, it is full. So let's see what the Lead Sickness will do. Alright, I spawned one in and checked out. Check what will happen. There we have the raft. It will attack the raft. Did you see? 4000 damage it did. Damn. That is crazy. That is just crazy and insane. That's like a quarter of the health of this one. And too bad your raft isn't fast enough. You can't outrun it. It will be faster than your raft. So if you come across one in the world, well, you're screwed. It will destroy your raft. Even if it has sunken metal foundations. And let's check the base stats of a level 1 alpha. It says 4400 health. So that is not much. And this is the melee. 132. So for a level 1 that is fine. But a level uh, yeah, 100 for example. If you come across that one. Well that will be harder. And let's see a level 1 normal. It has the same stats as you can see here. Okay. That's interesting. I thought the alpha would be... At least bigger, but it isn't bigger, but I, I thought it would be stronger. But it isn't stronger at all. So they have just the normal stats. The only thing is with the alpha I guess is that you can get that head skin. And you can't get that from the normal one. And don't forget to check out championarc.com slash Scroll all the way down, claim your starter back and get started today. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, to leave a like, leave any thoughts about this video or whatever in the comment below. And as always, if you haven't already and you want to see more of me in the future, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.